Hello everyone. I was asked by Sam the Vlogger Beast about 51 minutes ago to upload a clock collection video. Since I have not done one in probably over a couple of years. Anyway, we'll start with this one. This is a Swiss made cuckoo clock. It's got a Swiss mu uh, movement in it. Uh, I got this clock from my grandma when she passed, but she owned the clock years prior after purchasing it from the St. Vincent de Paul rummage sale. So, there's that one. It's got a musical movement. I got the clock after she passed. It's one of my favorites because of the musical movement. It still gets seized every once in a while, but it'll always be special. And my cat is following me. And this here is a piece of crap. Centurion 20 day. Made in China. I mean, I like the way the, like, the brass face looks. It gives a gold tone off, but... Quality's just not really there. It's not matchable with every other country that manufactures these types of clocks. Here we have a William L. Gilbert. I'll show you the front of that. Yeah, I know this room's a mess. It's the storage room. It runs, though. Any clocks I have projects coming forth are put in here. Kind of like this one. I didn't end up getting the parts for Christmas today, so I have a lot of money. About $200 worth. I'm going to set out and see if I can purchase the movement and all the pieces needed for this. Because I really want something put in this case and maybe to go in the collection or just give it away entirely. I don't have any plans on keeping it like this though. Here we have a maybe 30s or 40s Kingsel German made wall clock. It is missing a lot of stuff, but it runs and chimes, so not too upset. Here we have another, maybe this one's a black forest because of its size and how it looks. My grandmother also owned this clock, but she put this together from scratch after the pieces were left in a bucket and she made it work. This one's one of my favorites because of that. It's the biggest one I have. It's really nice too. Here we have the 91 Ridgeway. Still in the same state. Got this for my birthday in 2013. One of the first clocks I featured on the channel. Here we have a Hermel New Reproduction Castle Clock with a Brahms Passing Strike movement. Here we have a New England Regulator. There's a date below it says 1974, so it's probably a 74, maybe 75. Here's the Seiko Melodies in Motion Rhythm Clock. The Veracron Westminster Chime, made in the US, I got after my cousin passed away. Here we have a maybe 30s or 40s Royal Wall Clock. Made by the Royal Wall or uh, Royal Clock Company of Japan. Here we have a Finney Walker wall clock and a Ridgeway over here. I made a mistake when looking at its manual. This is a side note, but 1988 was presented as the example date and not really the clock's real date of manufacture. So, if it was printed in some time in the 80s, the date is probably close to that, but I can't say it's 88 for sure, so I'm not going to say one for the purpose of the video, so I don't mislead anyone. I believe this is a 1916 Waterbury grandfather clock, made in the U.S. I just put up a video of this one a few minutes ago. This is a Rula alarm clock. Made in the German Democratic Republic. Here is, I believe, a Sessions 8 day Bakelite Mantle Clock. And here is a 
nether sessions. Right there, mantle clock. That's Schmidt, eight day, miniature. Uh, grandfather mantle clock, I guess you call these. I'm not too... Swayze made a similar model to this, but theirs is a little smaller. Probably about that tall, instead of having a full body case right there. Here's a Concordia anniversary clock. I will open these up. Okay, first things first. The Kundo anniversary clock right there. Got another Kundo right there. Same model, I believe. An Admiral non-magnetic, or excuse me, this one's a glass shoot, or glass shut, or G-L-A-S-H-U-T-T-E, I think is how, I can't pronounce German that well. Anyways, this is that type of watch. It's a Waltham case, but it's not original. Yeah, I know, you're curious, aren't you? Here's the Hermel new reproduction castle mantle clock. It's got a one train movement but it's missing a couple pieces but I believe it will run once it has them here's a Welby anniversary clock and right here is a Uramica anniversary clock made in Germany Ugh. and then back here is a Kundo anniversary clock there is the Admiral Non-Magnetic Pocket Watch. And, uh, here's a Kern Anniversary Clock, K-E-R-N. And a... And here is a Howard Miller Maritime Ship's Clock with 11 jewels. Oh, okay, I got, gotta close it up now. Gotta close it up now. Come on. This video might be a bit long, but... Alright, and here is another Kundo. Here I have another Kundo. Same model again. An Elgin Masonic pocket watch. A ball watch. Made by the Kings. In India. There is a French metron metronome in the back. I just put there for decoration. I had nowhere else to put it. And uh, back there is a shots. And another shots right here. And another shots. What this one is a 1000 day. And another shots. It's a three ball pendulum and they're black colored. Notice another condo. And Another condo. And last but not least, I featured a video of this one. The German one train movement cuckoo clock. I have diagnosed the problem with this one, but I have not obtained oil yet to yet grease the gears and make them move more freely. So, this one will stay in the basement until I get the proper part. Because, like, I stuck the big weight on here to see if it would run, and that was for one of my other clocks my grandparents gave me. And putting a different weight on this clock is not the issue, because it came with this one, so clearly it worked before. So all I need is some oil, because if it's weak like this, you know, that's probably all it needs. It's probably been ceased for how long? I don't have the New Yorker anymore. It's in place of the, or the Cougar Clock's taking its place. Okay, so that is about all in the collection. And, oh, wait, I almost forgot this one in this uh, extra storage room. This is a Ingram, probably from the 40s or 50s or 30s. Now I got all of them. So, I'm just doing a check here. Okay. So, that's all on this video regarding the clock collection. It's definitely gotten smaller as I...
become more bogged down with other things to do. So, um, there's the actual collection. And now for some uh, comments, because I found out another thing that I can type my name into comment, but it changes my whole profile altogether. So I just said screw it and stuck to my original name and the idea of me answering comments through a video. So, basically, I got asked by the 8-Track Master a year ago, and he asked me if I like 21 Savage. Well, I'm probably going to get a lot of heat for this, but it's just not my type. I don't really, I know 21 Savage is a rapper, but I don't listen to rap music like by Eminem. I only know the names, like Sp Young Thug and all of that. Like, I don't, I'm mostly an Elton John and Billy Jewel type of fan. Like, I just like classical music like that. I don't really at all, I mean, I'll listen to rap if I had to do it, but it's just not my genre of music. Like, I love 80s new wave music and whatnot. I just... Hip-hop is just not my thing. I understand that it's most the most popular right now, and that's cool that people can appreciate it, but that's just not me. So, answer to that question is no, I really don't. Now, there's a whole thing where I try to say I do in front of my friends because they all listen to hip-hop, but this is probably the first I've actually admitted it, and, you know, love it or hate it, that's just my opinion on it. If you like 21 Savage and all of them, and can go along with it, and can rap to it like them, because you gotta have, like, a lot of training for that, that's great, and I'm happy for that, but it's just not me. And I got texted by Simon Yesh, who said, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, bud. I hope, uh, everything's going well. Got what you wanted. Saw all kinds of family. And in, just in general, having a great time. So, that's just about all I've seen right now, as far as looking back on my Rula video. I already got comments on. And likes, I appreciate the comments and likes. Um, so that'll be it for this video. It's a lot longer than expected, but <laughs> I tried to be as descriptive and all that as I could, so. But I had to kind of rush some of them. So that'll close out this one, and it'll probably close it out for the year, too, unless something comes up. So if I don't see you, have a happy new year. And enjoy the rest of your holiday.